She gonna roll down the window and pull the. Do you want me to call the police? Uh, you watching the bread? Chess of the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess of the bread. Chess of the bread. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, hurry up. I used to be patient with y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be patient, but I'm not patient no more because if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing, honestly? Because if you watch my story times, that means that you like me. So why are you not subscribed? And if you've never seen me on here before telling story times, I don't know where you've been. I don't know what YouTube you want, baby. But you need to subscribe, okay? Get your girl to 100K. I'm so, so grateful to hit 50K. Thank you guys so much for 50K. I know y'all are probably like, y'all got a bone to pick with me. Like, girl, where have the story times been? Where have you been? Honestly, y'all, not too much in my armpits because I didn't feel like shaving it for y'all. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. But, um, basically, I don't know if I told you guys in a vlog. I don't even think I posted a vlog yet um other than the cat vlog the last vlog that i did was the cat vlog um unfortunately caillou my new hairless cat he passed away he had to get put down um he had like a really serious um urinary obstruction situation going on and he was too little for like the surgery or whatever so they had to put him down and that was super super traumatizing for me like i literally was just crying every day after that and i took like I wouldn't say a social media break. I didn't take a social media break. I was still making TikToks. Um, not obviously like not the day of or the day after, but like soon after that, I did have to continue, you know, making my content because I am a content creator and I did get a lot of hate. Well, no, I'm not even gonna say a lot. There were a couple weirdos in my DMs basically accusing me of doing things to my cat um, to cause him to have to get um, have to get put down, which is absolutely like ridiculous and then there were people that were um basically saying like i thought you were sad you can make tiktoks but you can't make youtube videos and harassing me for videos like baby y'all do not know the real like i can literally pick up my phone make a little 60 second to what the, what's the maximum on there right now three minutes on tiktok there is no effort that has to be put into making tiktoks you guys like youtube videos are different i get ready different i sit up my camera i gotta charge on my my camera batteries i gotta make sure that the you know what i'm saying the setting is perfect i gotta edit upload all of that stuff so um i'm sorry i didn't get you guys a story time out but i was trying to get myself together this situation has actually happened recently so i'm going to be telling you guys as y'all can see by the title the story when i almost got arrested or i almost beat up this grown ass woman so but before all of that if you guys aren't following me on instagram it is very 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 important to go follow me on instagram you guys not even just because i post um basically when i'm gonna drop a story time if you guys are always like oh when is the story time coming out following me on instagram is the number one thing that you should be doing right now um but also on you on instagram i do interactive things where you guys can basically pick which story i tell you guys can pick which video i do i'm going to be doing where you guys can control me for a whole day as well so if y'all not following me on the gram go follow me on there go like my pictures and show love so yeah I had a real struggle with my temper in high school and when I was younger and stuff like I was the kid that like the, my, the sibling that my mom had to be like you need to you need to act right when we go to the store you need to you know what I'm saying and it used to piss me off because even when I got older and like my temper got better than it was and like I wasn't so like hot-headed or whatever whatever you want to call it I had a badass attitude I still have a bad attitude that I'm working on but it's, it's nothing like it was when I was in high school I don't know I was just angry at the world probably like I always tell you guys due to BPD just mental illness or whatever but also I just think I was I'm not gonna lie I was a fucking I thought that I was beside the whole like wanting to fight a stranger or getting into it at the store just stuff like that like but sometimes y'all you don't find drama drama finds you I'm not gonna lie like sometimes you just be in the wrong place wrong time you just bump into the wrong person but um yeah my mom used to tell me like be um be on your best behavior like you know on some regular mom shit like oh don't 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 have an attitude when we go here and i feel i used to feel real misunderstood because i felt like i didn't just go out with an attitude it's just that people would rub me the wrong way or people would be funny acting and i just wasn't with it after the quarantine happened and stuff like that i really got a hold of my temper like 
unless bitches was just really trying me i really did not beef with nobody i didn't really get into it with nobody for real other than the stories y'all already heard it might have been a few months ago a couple months ago i was going to the city to do appointments i had an appointment um for a silk press or it might have been a ponytail i just know that i got i had a hair appointment in the city but it was like it was like north north atlanta like it was not the regular area that I go to, it was like far deep in the city and I had never been in that area before. So I went, I was going to go get my hair done. Let me like set up the day for y'all. So say my my hair appointment was like at noon or no, it might've been earlier. Like I remember I had to wake up early that day. Um, that's probably part of the reason why I was just not having this whole situation. But um, my appointment might've been at 11 or, or 12 and then after that, I was going to go get a pedicure. Like, I was going to go find things to do in the city because I had nothing to do that day. And none of my friends were available. Like, I just basically wanted to have, like, a me day where I got my appointments in. And I just went shopping and stuff like that. Like, I just wanted to do a bunch of things on my own that day. And I typically didn't drive myself anywhere. I would have Jordan drive me everywhere. And I typically, especially if it was on the highway, like I've been driving since I was 15 years old. I can drive perfectly fine. I drive better than everybody that I know. I'm not even gonna toot my own horn, but toot bitch. Like I, I can drive, but I don't like to drive. I am passenger princess 100%. I don't care if it's my car. I do not care whose car it is. I am a passenger princess. I do not like to drive. And um, at this time, my anxiety on the highway was super bad. So I just did not like to drive myself places. But this particular day, I took myself to all my appointments. I took myself to all my appointments and I was just doing the whole nine. Like, you know, bitch, I was independent. So like I said, I didn't really know the area at all. I had never been to this lady that was doing my hair. She was either doing a ponytail on me um, or some type of braid or like a silk press. I do not remember what she was doing on me because y'all, all I can remember from that day is this situation because it really blew the F out of me. So I had went to my appointment. My appointment was perfectly fine. I got my hair done. My hair always takes about two hours to do. Um, the, it doesn't matter what the style is. I mean, unless it's braids like this, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and promo my girl because she fucking slayed my hair, y'all. Are you dumb? Are y'all dumb? Do you guys see how long these braids are? Like, hold on. Not even to flash y'all, but like, excuse me? Knee length hair, 40 inch hair, y'all came in a pack. Like, do not play with my girl. Emma does hair, she did my hair. She was a vibe, she was so cool. Um, and I love my braids, y'all. I got the medium, medium knotless. Back to what I was saying. My appointment couldn't have been more than about two hours. And then I remember after that, I wanted to go to Starbucks before getting my toes done. So I didn't have an appointment to get my toes done. I didn't even have a specific place or a specific shop that I was gonna go get my toes done. I just knew that I was gonna find like, a local um nail salon that was near the area that i was at and i was gonna look at reviews and i was gonna go get my toes done so before going to get my toes done after my hair was done let's say my hair was done around one or two o'clock um if, it, if my appointment was at 11 then i would say my hair was done at no later than 1 30. so i was trying to find me a local starbucks and y'all i literally was on my phone the entire time of my appointment like i don't know if anybody else is like that i'm pretty sure there's plenty of people like that I'm not very talkative in my appointments unless they're very talkative with me. Like, I don't come in there all smug with, like, the vibe that's like, don't talk to me. But it's more so, I don't know. So, I have anxiety, y'all. I always tell y'all, oh, I have anxiety. But I really, like, if you know me personally, you know my anxiety is so bad. I can talk y'all head off on here, but I don't have social anxiety. But sometimes when I talk, I get out of breath and then... I start thinking I can't breathe and I start doing my deep breath things that y'all be seeing me do sometimes and y'all it's just not cute and sometimes I'm just if, especially if it's early all I'm trying to do is just make sure I'm not having a panic attack while I'm getting my hair done so I'm not really in a talkative mood all the time so I was on my phone the entire appointment to the point where my phone was like on one percent by the time I, I was done with my hair so by the time my hair was done she took all the pictures we was like you know I'm loving my hair and I'm showing I'm doing like the videos that you know hairstyles like to do and sometimes I can take a fucking minute by the time that happens I'm going back to the car to use my phone to go to the nearest Starbucks so I'm looking up Starbucks locations on my phone I do have a car charger but for some reason it didn't register in my brain to put my phone on the charger right away so I used like the three percent probably three to five percent that I had left to get to this Starbucks so when I got to this Starbucks it ended up being a Target 
there was a Target that had a Starbucks in the Target. Like, it was a Starbucks that was in Target. Like, y'all know Target be having Dunkin' Donuts. Target be having a Starbucks. Target be having a pizza place. Like, Target really be having the whole night. And the bitch loves some fucking Target. So, I didn't mind having to go in there to go get Starbucks. Like, what I saw was, y'all know the cartoons. I was like, Target? Like, bitch, we can go to Target. I'm always down for some Target. Target sometimes be running my pockets, but you know, if you if if you know, you know. It's fucking Target. By the time that I got there, my phone had ended up dying. When I was pulling into the little Target Plaza, my phone ended up dying. And one thing about me is I do not carry my wallet around with me. I use Apple Pay for everything. Like, if a place don't got Apple Pay in 2022, I'm the type of bitch to be like, damn, y'all don't have Apple Pay? And then I, I'd be like, okay, thank you. And I'd be like, walking out with an attitude because why do you not have fucking Apple Pay? Like, of course, I don't get an attitude with the cashier because y'all don't own, you know, the store. But it's like, damn, how do you not have Apple Pay in this climate? Like, I do not want to carry around paper money or a freaking wallet with me everywhere I go. So I know that I was going to have to use Apple Pay for both the Starbucks or whatever I get in Target because I didn't have my wallet with me. And I knew I was going to buy Starbucks and probably some more stuff out of Target. So I decided to park and charge my phone before going into the Target. Mind you, I had nothing else to do that day absolutely nothing else to do i did not have anything on my agenda um other than getting my toes done and it was very early in the day so if push came to shove i could have just went back to my side of town and got my toes done there or just got it done the next day but what i wanted was starbucks y'all i wanted my mother freaking chai tea latte i don't even know if i wanted a chai tea latte or a pink drink honestly i was just craving me some starbucks so i go to pull in y'all this is when stuff starts getting weird i don't know the area so i don't know if this area was predominantly white or if the area was like a mixture, it's Atlanta at the end of the day. It wasn't downtown, downtown Atlanta, like where I be at, but it was a fairly nice place in Atlanta and there was a Target, bitch. So it couldn't have been that bad of an area, if you know what I mean. So I might've been pulling up to where it was snowing outside, but I didn't know that. Y'all know when y'all are driving, right? Skrr, and you're trying to pull into a parking spot, but there's damn near none. Like there's like one or two parking spots and there's like a couple people trying to park too and y'all are basically playing bumper cars or trying to trying to speed race to see who can get to the parking spot, right? One thing about me, if you're coming this way and I'm coming this way and I reach close to that parking spot before you and I put my little turning signal on before you do, before you do any of that, bitch, I'm getting that parking spot. I do not care. We're gonna have to tussle about that parking spot. I'm getting that parking spot. I do not give a fuck. But I also keep that same energy. If somebody puts their turning signal on before me or they reach it, like, you know, the right of way, if they get there first, you got it. Even if I can skirt into that parking spot before you, I'm not even gonna be petty and do you like that because it would annoy the fuck out of me if somebody did that to me. So, y'all, when I tell y'all, this was the lady. She was like, was turning into that whole lane that I was in by the time i had already put my turning signal on but she was closer just because she had pulled in from that side of the parking spot but i was on that like the parking spot was on the right of me but her turning in from that way it was on the left on her side but she was closer because she had just turned into that space but i already had my turning signal on and we had seen each other and she did it so i end up i didn't have to rush or like like almost hit her car or anything i just pulled into the parking spot and I sat there and started charging my phone. Some people are Karens, some people are are crazy. So some people might do a little beep beep, some people might do a little fuck you, some people might just speed past and go find another parking spot. You know, I, I didn't, I wasn't expecting any reaction from her because again, I, I didn't have to do much to get into that parking spot. I was there first. She didn't honk at me, she didn't roll the window down, say nothing, she didn't do nothing. She just kept driving and I was just like, okay, so I got my parking spot and that's, that's just it or whatever. So. Y'all, I kid you not, about five minutes passed. I'm literally waiting for my phone to cut on at least 10%. Because I knew that I wasn't going in there for a whole damn, like, shopping spree. But I wanted my phone to be, you know, in case there was a line or... I don't know. I just didn't want my phone to die in the store. Like, that, the whole point of me getting my phone turned on was so I can use it for Apple Pay. So, it couldn't have been five to ten minutes before I start getting a knock on my window. So, I look at my window and I have tinted windows. So even though it was daytime, it was kind of cloudy outside. So I couldn't really see if it was the same lady or not. I couldn't really tell who it was. I just saw a silhouette of a person standing at my window and I knew nobody had no business standing at my window. So I looked and I'm a female. I didn't know if it was a male. I didn't know who it was. So I just kind of ignored the person at my window and kept being on my phone. So I get another 
knock at my window. So I rolled the window down a little bit and I'm like, yes. Like I had an attitude at this point because why are you knocking on my window? I don't I don't know nobody here. I'm not even in my part of town. Baby, you need to not play with people like that because I could have kept the tool in my purse and I really could have used it on you. But I ain't that crazy. So I rolled my window down a little bit and I'm like, yes. And I see blonde a little bit of blonde hair and i'm like mm, that kind of looks like the lady that was trying to get the parking spot that i was trying to get so i roll the window down and i'm like yes and she's like are you gonna go in the store just like that y'all i'm not even i'm not even trying to exaggerate like if i was being a bitch in this situation i would have said that she was like hey are you going in the store right now even then i, w I wouldn't <laughs> you know what i'm saying but she was like are you going in the store so i kind of do i kind of do a little petty like one two like who is she talking to like number with my with my neck and my head and then i roll it the window down a little bit more and i'm like yeah in a minute so y'all she does this I, I kid you not she steps back from my window a little bit and she goes like this and she just starts staring at me. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? So I roll the window back up because baby, I don't know what you're on, but I don't have time. Cause I don't know what you're doing. Cause you already done parked somewhere else, obviously. Cause you walked to me and her car wasn't behind me or, or, or nothing like baby. You already done parked your car somewhere and walked all the way to me. So I don't know. And it, it, it couldn't have been that far away because the next five minutes since I parked here, you got here. So at least a five minute walk. She's just standing there and then Probably a couple minutes passed by and she goes. So I rolled a window down and she's like, This is parking for Target. So I'm like, I know. Like, like, I'm like, I don't I don't remember exactly what I said to that, but I was just like, I know where I'm parked at. Like, I was just looking at her like, I know. And she was like, Well, if you're not gonna go in Target, then you need to move. Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry, because I didn't know that you had a Target shirt on. I didn't know that you had a red shirt on. I didn't know that you was the authority. I didn't know that you was the law. So I'm looking at her like she's stupid. And I'm like, why? And she's like, because this is parking for Target. This is, this is not public parking. This is private parking for Target. And I was like, ma'am, I've only been sitting here for five minutes. I'm just trying to charge my phone. Y'all, y'all know those the, the faces that Karen's be making when they have no point and they just want to bother you. She was just like, well, okay, but I wanted this parking spot. It's fairly close. And she's like, I have bad legs. And I don't want to have to walk all the way from my parking spot. So if you're not going to go on Target, can you just give me this parking spot? You need to just give me this parking spot. And I'm just like, baby, first of all, they have a handicap lane for a reason. I'm not parked in the handicap lane, y'all. I am so against people who don't have handicap stickers parking in the handicap lane. Because I know if you're handicapped, you know what I'm saying, you really do have bad legs, you really do need to get into the store, and I'm just taking up a handicap spot for no reason. You know what I'm saying, then I get it. But this is not a handicap spot, y'all. Like, this was literally like the fourth or fifth parking spot. It wasn't even like damn straight up in the front. So I'm like, um, if you're handicapped, then you should have a handicap lane. I'm not even in a handicap lane. And she was just like, oh, you're trying to be funny? I'm not handicapped. I just am, uh, I'm an older woman, so I have bad legs. My job. She was not an old lady. She was probably like 45. And I know that, you know, some people age like prunes, like, like grapes. I know some people turn it like like how I go in a, in the in a tub and I turn into a prune. I know that some people age like that, but she was not an older lady. She did not look crippled at all. She had walked five minutes all the way to my car when she could have used that energy to walk into the store. I'm just like, lady, I'm not moving my parking spot. I'm about to go into the store, so you can wait here. And if you don't want to walk into the store and do all your walking, you can wait for me here. I'm not giving you this parking spot. So y'all. Yeah. Literally, I get out of the car about five minutes later because I, I still charged my phone up some more. I wasn't about to jump. When this lady said jump, I wasn't finna say how high. She wasn't, she was being a Karen. And, and like I said, I tried to work on myself and just not give everything a reaction or everything that energy. And I did give her attitude. Old me would have just sat in the car for 30 minutes and watched the show before I went in Target, especially if I had the time. But I wasn't trying to do that, like waste my energy on this old ass lady for what? So I basically walked into the store about five minutes later. I saw her walk kind of back to her car. Hey y'all, it's editing Chessa from the future. And right here, it kind of sounds like that's the climax of the story. Like that's the craziest part of what happened in the story like that's kind of the end of the story but it's definitely not like not even close so definitely watch to the end because i know the video is not much longer after this part but the worst part of the story i haven't even said it yet so just hold on i got my starbucks 
and I had my little Starbucks drink walking around Target. I ended up picking up like a um, tripod and because my tripod had broke, I had bought another tripod from um, Target. I was looking at toys for my niece. Y'all, I was in every aisle. Like, I saw the towel aisle. I was like, mm, do I need some towels? Let me fill these towels. Like, I saw the damn carpet cleaner. Ooh, my carpets do need a little bit of cleaning, bitch. Like, let me look at the carpet cleaner real quick. Like, y'all, every aisle that I, that I had no business in, I was in because, bitch, are you really going to wait outside for me? I feel like there's so many Karens that do shit like this. Like, you are so bored with yourself and so entitled that you would rather sit in your car and wait for me to move to get a, a closer parking spot than just go in the store and get what you need to get. I get out the store and I come back to my car. Eventually, y'all, like, I, I stroll out of this store like, like nobody's business. And I don't even see the lady no more. Like, I thought that she left. So I get in the car and I'm about to, to back out of the parking spot. Why the fuck does this lady block my way with her car? I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Okay, bitch, so you want to get into a fight today because now you're playing with me. You already gave me that whole Karen energy. You gave me that attitude that you didn't need to give me. You pettily waited in the car for me to get out the store, instead of just going in the store, you would have been done. There's probably like 10 parking spots that done opened up by the time that I was done in the store. So she was just trying to play with me, y'all. So when I'm going to back out, like I said, she blocks my way with her car. And she has a van, like it's like a blue, like literally like a soccer mom van. So I stop my car and I get out the car. Because I'm not doing this, e -er, e -er. I'm not doing this back and forth with you. Because I don't see videos where Karens try to block parking spots. I've seen all those type of videos and I'm not that type of bitch. I'm not about to like ram into your car, none of that. I'm going to get out the car and, and what's good at this point. I wasn't, I didn't get, hop out the car trying to fight her, but I hopped out the car and I walked to her side of the door and her window and I said, you need to move your car. You need to move your car. She has a soccer mom van, but it is a fishbowl. So I could see her and I knew she could see me. So I'm like, you need to move your car. Why are you blocking my car? Like I'm going off on her. I am pissed off at this point because I felt like I gave her the benefit of the doubt by not beating her ass the first time that she even came to my window with the audacity and the entitlement. But when I'm like, you need to move your car. You need to move your car. Y'all, why is this lady sitting on her phone like this? Just on her phone. I don't know if she was on Facebook. Plenty of fish. I don't know what she was on, but she was being petty because the same way I was ignoring her in my car on my phone when she was knocking at my window being petty, she was trying to ignore me, which baby, that's fine if you want to if you want to get your lick back, but you're blocking me from being able to leave and that's where you're that's where you're mistaken. I'm banging on her window at this point and I'm like, "You need to move your fucking car. You need to move your fucking car." She going to roll down the window and pull the Do you want me to call the police? Do I want you to call the police because you're blocking my car? Do you want me to call the police? There's a woman here and she's harassing me. Like, do you want me to call the police, sis? So I'm like, at this point, I'm like, are you gonna get out? Are you gonna move your car? Are you going to move your car? And she just starts ignoring me again. So I start walking and I get back in my car. I called my mother so fucking fast. I called, I FaceTimed my mom and I was like, mom, this is about to be my first time going to jail. Like. I'm telling my mom, like, I, t I call my mom for everything. I don't know. If you know, you know. I call my mama, even as an adult, every little inconvenience I have, I'm calling my mama. One thing about my mom, she does not like Karens either. She doesn't encourage me to fight. Y'all already know from my other story times, my mom is not with that. But she was just like, what happened? And I told her what happened. And she was like, you need to call the police. Because if she's blocking your car, she's the one that's in the wrong. You need to go ahead and call the police because I don't want you to beat her up and then have to go to jail. So I'm like, mama, I'm not calling the police. Like, I... One thing about me, I'm not calling the police. I'll call the police for, for dire emergency, but a situation like this, I would rather whoop her ass, honestly. I would rather whoop her ass than have to call the police for some shit, some dumb shit like this. So before I can make the decision on whether I'm going to beat this woman's ass out of her car, um, she comes up to my door again. So she knocks on the window and I ignore her for a split second and she finds herself going to open my door. So she opens my door and I just slammed the door open, you guys. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I probably could have did this a little gentler, but I, op I I got out of the car with like all my force and I forced the door open and the, the door smacked her ass to the ground. Like I pushed her with the door, she fell to the ground. And what did I do? 
I walked and I hopped in that bitch car because baby, you're not about to play with me. I hopped in her car. She must have thought that I was finna steal her car or something because the way she was wailing, she was screaming, y'all. Like at this point, she had brought like she had got other people's attention and people were starting to walk over there. But I did not give a fuck. I got in her car. I backed her car up. Like I skirt her car back. I didn't hit nobody's car. Thank God. I skirted her car back. I put it in park. I got out of her car. I got in my car. And I, I drove off because, bitch, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? So she's, like, as I'm driving off, like, she's, she got off the floor, obviously, like, when I started to drive her car, she got off the ground from being pushed by the door and trampled by the door as she motherfucking should. But she started taking pictures of my tag, like, as I was driving off or whatever. And I didn't give a fuck because, for, for one, you, you started to open my door. At that point, you're making me feel threatened, so now I'm finna put my hands on you. I really could have put my actual hands on her, but all I did was punch her ass with the door. <laughs> like, I pushed her out the way with the door, and I don't know if it was illegal for me to get in her car, so if, if, if it, if, for legal purposes, I'm just joking, but, um, I hopped in her car, and I moved her car, because if she wasn't gonna move it, bitch, somebody gotta move it, and it's gonna be me, because I'm gonna go. So, I left, I was so mad, you guys, that I was, like, crying, like, I know, I don't know if y'all know, like, Sometimes I cry tears of anger. Like, I wasn't sad in no type of way. The bitch did not put no fear in my heart. I could have whooped her ass. Anybody could have whooped her ass. She was a Karen. Like, I could have whooped her ass, but I really was not even trying to do all of that. Like, I really should have beat her ass, did all of the, moved her car and all of that. But I wasn't even trying to go there. Like, I just wanted her to stop being weird and let me go where I need to go. So, after that, I got to the nail salon. I got my pedicure and my mom called me back and she was like, um, she was like, what ended up happening? Did you call the police? And I was just like, no, mom. Like, I told her what I did. And my mom was like laughing because what the fuck? Like, bitch, who do you think you are? Like, Karen's really be trying it. Like, why? What is wrong with you? That's the time that I almost had to beat up a Karen. And I guess you could say that I put my hands on her. Um, but I didn't know. She got the, she had the wrong one that day. Because there's, I've seen videos, y'all, where people would literally wait, like, go have, like, a, a back and forth dispute for, like, an hour. Have the police come. All this stuff. No, babes. If you're not going to move your car, bitch, I will. And I don't give a f <laughs> I will move your car for you. I have a lot of more story times to get out to you guys. I promise not to make you guys wait again so long because now that I have these braids, y'all, your girl is feeling herself. I'm starting to feel like myself again, even after the situation with the cat. I also have a surprise coming, as you guys can probably guess. Um, no, I'm not going to tell y'all. If y'all know, then y'all know. But I'm going to confirm that in the next video, in the next vlog that I'm doing. I'm going to give you guys way more information on that. Thank you guys again so much for 50K. Thank you guys to you guys who show love to my vlogs and my other videos that I do other than story times. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for more story times coming out this week. I swear I'm going to drop another one this week. Follow me on Instagram. If you're not already following me, follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below. And turn on post notifications so you never miss when I post a video. Moral of the story you guys do not let no Karen play with you don't let nobody play with you period but especially a Karen because baby these these hands are literally rated E for everybody I do not care if you're a boy I don't care if you are non-binary I do not care if you are 80 years old if you play with me enough you can get it too I love you guys so much bye